V3 testnet launches for Pulse Chain. Pulse Chain coming soon. Two more weeks, two more weeks, two more weeks. Or t today, tomorrow, next day, right? Yeah, I had to mute myself there. I had the video playing in the background. But um, yeah, man, dude, it launches. Who the hell would have thought? Two more weeks, two more weeks, two more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, man, it launched the hex price doing very, very well. Um, I mean, over the last three months, we've we've ranged from like what four cents to a penny, up to like twelve cents, and now we're at what? I think we we at nine right now, or are we at eight cents right now. Between there. Yeah. So shame on y'all if you haven't bought hex. Shame, shame. True, true. And like, here's the thing, right? I think one of the most common questions I've seen from people who are newer to hex and pulse chain, right? is essentially, um, has the snap snapshot happened yet? So DCC, Hex Jesus, tell us uh, the gospel here. It secretly happened already, and and shame <laughs> on all y'all who sold Hex recently. It happened uh -oh. already. Your, your snapshot happened. You missed out on the opportunity. All the P-Hex is mine. Ha, ha, ha. Wow. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Now ha, you've ha, left to buy from me. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. No, but um, but basically Richard just recently said, no, you dumb dums. The snapshot hasn't happened yet. We're planning, as soon as the snapshot happens, we're planning to launch the main net within a, a particular set of time and stuff. So um, there's a lot of people saying, there's no such thing as a snapshot. Snapshots are fake, Miguel. Like, it's just a fork. Well, Richard Hart just called it a snapshot, so... Who's wrong yeah, now? It's, it's really just semantics. At the end of the day, people arguing about petty shit. Um, I mean, I'll, I just wanted to show Richard Hart's tweet here just so everybody knows. Uh, oops, I think I was looking at something else here. Where is that? There we go. This one here. Um, what do we got here? Uh, is this the one I'm looking for? Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. So he says, right, some people think that they missed the Pulse Chain mainnet uh, snapshot slash fork. So he's basically calling them the same thing. They're wrong. It hasn't happened yet. So when you know, he doesn't say this explicitly, but it makes the most sense since it is a fork, right? The snapshot will happen at the fork as me and DCC have been basically basically been discussing with the crypto mindset course for a very long time. I don't even remember like several, like a year over a year now. So um, pretty much as expected there, but yeah, just, you know, I'll throw this one in the chat as well, just so that, you know, people can kind of be like, okay, I got it from the source and, you know, um, okay. it's good to go. I also want. Can you pull up? Can you pull up his Twitter one more time, real quick? If you just click on his Twitter, he had something really interesting post today. Um, two or three of them, really. That I'm, I'm going to talk on my show as well later on on Tuesday. But um, is it kind of, kind of about FDICs, FDIC insurance and stuff, and kind of how to like protect yourself if you have a lot of money? So since the since the Moon Gang here made a lot of money, this is so anyone that's brand new to the channel, I'm sorry, this excludes you. But all the guys have been watching the Moon Gang for a long time. You know, this is this tweets for you. But basically, in order to protect yourself with FDIC, just in case the banks go down, you know, he basically what Richard was saying is like you basically want to open a bank. You have a bank. You want to have like two hundred and forty nine thousand dollars in Bank of America, two hundred and forty nine thousand dollars in JP Morgan, two hundred and forty nine thousand dollars in Wells Fargo, two hundred forty nine thousand dollars. So basically, saying split your or yeah or just all of it in crypto baby let's fucking go that's what i'm that's what i that's what i recommend hashtag not life or financial advice <laughs> but definitely and um you've actually reminded me of something um you know what no, no I'll, I'll 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 announce it i'll announce it in a day or so and stuff because i need to make sure to get my ducks in a row about this but i mean i'm i mean obviously i mean like there's a lot of people who believe like v3 wasn't going to happen at all right, right? and it's be it's beautiful, you know. It's a real, it's a really beautiful thing and stuff. It's launched and stuff. Now it's like it's still kind of buggy. If, okay, it's a test net, of course. Yeah, do we want to? That the whole point is basically you want to ha find the bugs so you can fix the le bugs. You want to eat lay bugs so you can but, fix them. But Miguel, it's coming out tomorrow, right? So the yeah, bugs yeah. are gone. If I if I'm being for real, we're probably okay. If I had to guess, man, if you had you put a gun to my head, right? Since I'm Mexican, I'd probably say we're Pulse Chain coming out Cinco de Mayo. There you go, man. Yeah, that'd be a good day. That'd be nice. That'd be fun. That'd be a fun day, yeah. 
because like we, I mean, we've been saying that you know we're probably gonna have a really decent end of you know April and stuff. We're gonna start seeing some real like good price moves and stuff. So having it come out in May is probably not a terrible month for it to happen. I mean, but just the the sh- that's the shortest time like line I could see pulse chain coming out is May. Mm-hmm. Personally, if 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 I was just doing a classic sort of like distribution of like like of months, right? I mean, probably you need one month to find the bugs, the bad bugs, right? Another month to fix it another month to uh, polish and then launch basically. So, yeah, I mean, so pretty much that would, mile would be relatively quick. Yeah. Relatively quick. But, so, but remember, remember this, what me and Charlie have said about for a long time is that the, that the founders of projects market time. I know this is haram and you can't say that, but it's true. You do. There is market timing. You don't like, let me launch. You know what? Hey, you know, Charlie, I've been working on this project for a really long time. How about we launch it on the day Luna collapses? Yeah, let's yeah. do it, bro. <laughs> this, this is the time. I said this. I, I'm a man of my word. And I say, I said, I will launch it right here, man. And, you know, and, and we're like some, you, how smart would it have been to have launched your project on the on pegging of USDC? Hmm. You know what? Three arrows capital just went down. I think it's a great time to try to get VC capital into the project. <laughs> you know, yeah. But you know, yeah, I agree. It's one of these things where it's like uh, market timing is essential. And here's the thing that we were discussing a little bit earlier today. Um, one of the things that I find really interesting about where we are with Bitcoin, Ethereum, the stock market, everything basically right now. The thing that I find interesting is that. I think by the time we get to the end of May, right now, we start getting into a peak season of terms of like an alt season and Mm -hmm. some euphoria phase, extra greed phase, and things are really rocketing. I think that's a high chance, a high possibility. And so with Pulse Chain being launched just before or just into that, um, I kind of look at when are the best if you if you want more hex right now for that snapshot right because that hex is probably going to either equal uh how ethereum or outpace ethereum on the market so and then you're going to get uh your coins on the uh, pulse chain side so um yeah you right now it's a great time to load up on hex right but it's like okay doing it strategically understanding that okay probably not in april that we're we're not going to get um you know, Pulse Chain launching in April, most likely, let's say 95% chance. So that means in the current 60 day cycle, which would, if we go a full 60 days on Bitcoin ends around May 9th, um, somewhere within there, we're going to have basically two opportunities to buy HEX more, right? And I would say that first opportunity is basically here right now, between now and when the Shanghai uh, update happens on Ethereum on April 12th. Basically, that period of time, the end of the month and the beginning of the month, going into that update for Ethereum, that's going to be kind of a volatile period, choppy period. And so um, we may not price appreciate crazy from from here, but during that chop, it's a good accumulation time, essentially. So as long as you guys are accumulating during that time, I think that's going to be the best. Um, and then the second best is going to be the end of April going into uh, the first half of May. That area probably is a good another good accumulation area. Um, but it might happen it might not last quite as long you might have you know you might have to act really damn quickly Um, but we'll see when we get there there are two other scenarios where we could be at extremes but i'll just kind of keep that main middle scenario there because that's what i think is most likely to happen and then at the beginning of the next 60-day cycle of pulse chain were to launch that would be launching basically into the beginning of uh like crazy the the over exuberant part of all season